Short-term rental restrictions in Sarasota County. What exactly are they and what do you need to know before you go in and purchase a property for Airbnb purposes in Sarasota County? So this is probably one of the most frequently asked questions that I get asked on a weekly basis by people messaging me on Instagram, shooting me a text, or also seeing me in person. And that is what in the world are the Airbnb restrictions here in Sarasota County? The reason why I say that is because there is, is a lot of conflicting information out there in the public. Some people say you cannot rent on Airbnb, while some people say you absolutely can rent on Airbnb without any worries. So what exactly is the truth of the rental restrictions in Sarasota County? And all this information is coming directly from Sarasota County themselves. So not only are we going to be discussing the rental rules, but we will also be sharing with you two locations in Sarasota County that allow short-term rents. So let's first talk about Sarasota County. Where exactly is Sarasota County located and where do all the cities, what cities all encompass Sarasota County? So as you look here on my map, this whole area right here is Sarasota County. So it starts in Sarasota right here, part of the airport. And then it goes all the way south down into the northern part of Inglewood. So as you can see here, it jogs back up, covers Northport, goes out a little bit towards Arcadia, not, not too close to Arcadia. And then it goes all the way up here. It borders Lakewood Ranch right here. So as you can see, we have the city of Sarasota, Venice, Nokomis, and then Inglewood, Northport. That's all part of Sarasota County. It's not just Sarasota itself, right? So this is what all Sarasota County and all this right here, they have a minimum rental rule of 30 days. So all leases in Sarasota County must be at least 30 days, whether that be short-term or long-term leases and monthly stays, right? And this is going to be pertaining all towards residential single-family houses, as well as a few other zonings uh, as listed right down here below, such as open-use estate, residential estate, uh, residential manufactured housing. Um, so basically anything within Sarasota County right here, it's a 30 day rental rule, except there's two locations in Sarasota County that do not need to follow those rules. So the one thing to keep in mind is that we have cities within Sarasota County and the cities are going to overrule the county within the city limits. So for example, we are going to type in Northport here for a second. So when we type in Northport, we are brought to the city. So as you can see here, this is the city of Northport. So the city of Northport doesn't have any rental restrictions whatsoever as of right now, 2022. So you can rent on Airbnb without having to worry about any fines being placed on you for doing short-term rents. So that's just one area is Northport. The other area is going to be Sarasota itself, the city of Sarasota. So as we can see here, once this loads, it's going to pop up with a border of the city of Sarasota. As you can see, the city of Sarasota border is pretty big, right? So anywhere within this area of this border, you can do short-term rents and there is a rental restriction of one week in the city of Sarasota. So you have to follow that rule but as you can see, it's, it's not that hard to follow that rule. Also, what's interesting to see and note is that the northern tip of Siesta Key is also part of the city of Sarasota, as well as Lido Key, Bird Key, St. Armand's, that area is also part of Sarasota, the city of Sarasota. So anywhere in here, it requires a minimum of a one-week stay unless you're in an HOA community, which then you have to follow the HOA guideline rules. So... There, those are the two areas that you can short-term rent in Sarasota County, the city of Sarasota and Northport as well. Anywhere else, if you're in Venice, the city of Venice does not allow short-term rentals. They want everyone to follow the county rules. So Venice, the city of Venice and the Venice surrounding area requires a minimum of 30 days as well. So there's another thing to note about this is that there is HOAs, there's cities, and then there's the county. So for example, there's one blanket, which is Sarasota County. Then you have the next blanket or the next layer, and that is going to be your city. So if you are within city limits, you have to follow city limit guidelines. Then the next rule down or the next level down 
is going to be your HOA community. So a lot of parts of Sarasota, Sarasota County in general, is a lot of HOAs. So you must follow HOA guidelines, which many HOAs do not allow um, short-term rents. So that's one thing to look out for as well when you're buying a house, is, is it in an HOA community or not? So now let's go back to this little PDF file here to talk to you a little bit more about the rental restrictions and rules. So we have the single family houses covered, right? And we'll also go on to Airbnb after this just to show you kind of what properties are on because here's another thing to note is that people on Siesta Key, for example, there's a lot of people renting on Siesta Key. However, they technically cannot rent on Siesta Key legally with a single family house. However, if you have a property that is zoned residential multifamily, aka RMF, which basically means that there's two dwellings, you know, that are attached that are on the one property and it, they do not require a 30 day minimum. They can be less than 30 days. So you can do short term rents with a property that is zoned RMF or residential multifamily. Short term use is allowed as long as you're on the barrier islands such as Siesta Key, Casey Key, and Minnesota Key. So we have Casey or we have Siesta Key here. Then we have Casey Key down here. And then we are going to be having then Minnesota Key is down here as well. So the barrier islands, you can do short-term rents with a residential multifamily house on there. Anywhere else in Sarasota County with a single family residence, you cannot do any short-term rents. So let's just pop onto Airbnb really quick. And let's actually look it up for ourselves because you're gonna see that there's a lot of people that are renting, you know, illegally technically on Airbnb at this moment. So once this loads, once that loads, we will talk, we will talk a little bit more about that. But the one thing to note is that here's what I, here's what I see with Airbnb because people say, oh, well, people are doing it just fine. So why can't they, right? Which obviously you can do what you want at that, at your own risk, right? It's at your own risk. And what I've heard. And so what I've been told as well is that at least Sarasota County, you know, as long as your neighbors don't tell on you, then technically they don't get, you don't, you may not get in trouble, but once your neighbors, it's, if you have, you know, parties and stuff like that, and your neighbors complain to the county, that is when the county is going to step in and start giving you fines, nightly fines, and they range all in price, but you will get a nightly fine for every time you are um, using that property. So let's just go here. Let's just type in Sarasota. And we'll just do flexible time. Doesn't matter. And let's just go here. So as you can see here, the other, so the one, so there's one loophole to get around this whole rental restriction, and that is going to be renting out a private room, so to speak. And there's a lot of people that do this, right? So you can rent out a private room. So it's technically not considered a single family residential dwelling. It is just considered a private room. So what people are doing as that's why you're seeing like $50, 5,800, you know, those lower prices, that's for single rooms. But like when you get into like down here, for example, you're going to start seeing people that are Airbnb on here, like this one, Airbnb, a whole villa in Sarasota, which technically they cannot. Um, but there's a lot of different ones out here. But when you see people renting rooms, right? When people are renting just rooms, private rooms down here, $70 a night, that's legal. You can rent out single rooms in Sarasota County. That's legal. That's not followed or considered under residential single family uh, dwelling. So that is how people are getting around that issue and solving that kind of problem itself. So as you can see here, there's still a lot of people that are doing Airbnb all along Sarasota and you know, it's at your own risk. <laughs> Beware and use at your own risk. Basically, that's all I can say. But that is kind of a wrap up and that's kind of just a short overview of what the rental restrictions here in Sarasota County are. Once again, they're 30 day minimum in the county unless you're in the two areas of Sarasota County, which is Northport and then also the city of CS or the city of Sarasota. Those the city of Sarasota has a seven night minimum stay and then Northport has no rental restrictions whatsoever. So I hope you guys found a lot of value in this video. I hope you guys got a better understanding of the rental restrictions here in Sarasota County. So if you guys have any questions about buying a house for Airbnb, or you just have questions about rental restrictions, just put them in the comment section down below and I would be happy to answer them for you.